All right, so what I did to create a route, there's a route already created. I made that on Strava. What you do is on Strava homepage, um, you're on your homepage. And then you're gonna go to dashboard and go down to my routes. Then, obviously I already made one, but you can hit create a route. And then that's not too bad. You click, what you'll do is you'll like click a starting point. So we'll just, you double tap to zoom in here. Um, let's say I wanna start right here. This looks like Sand Canyon or something. So click that, that's my starting point. Now you can have an ending point Let's say you have an ending point. Boom. That's that's your ending point. <laughs> so, and you can also, like, it doesn't have to be the end. You can have just that. You can use that as a place, like, because oftentimes the map will make its own route for you. So you can be like, okay, well, I know I want to go from there to there. And I want to I wanna get there in a certain way. So, like, this is the way I want to go. But now I want to get up to here boom it's going to make you the route that's going to be and it's it, it, there's a bike path in town so it kind of went sidetracked rather than taking the streets so it's going to give you the best options which is pretty cool then let's say we want to go over to here so you have all these checkpoints that you know you want to get to it'll bring you to that so anyway there's that um let's see so you hit save. Okay, we're not gonna save this one because I don't actually wanna do that. But, so we're gonna go back to my route. And now we wanna get it onto our Wahoo. So what we're gonna do for that is go to, we're gonna click on the route. And then you can, on Wahoo it lets you on the app, it lets you like, export GPX or export TCX. I've already done export GPS or GPX. So we're going to go over here to, you're going to go to your email, get your email going, go to attach files. We're going to click in, I'm just going to click in GPX. I'm sure it's like a different thing you could type to be more accurate, but okay. So Angela's Crest, I'm going to double click that. Gonna go to the email. I'm gonna hit recipients. Send it to myself, and then I'm gonna pull it up on my phone. I'm gonna hit GPX here. Send it. So now I'll take some screenshots of kind of what I did, and uh, see you in a second. So that was sent to my email and then it's going to show you this little icon on your email and I already downloaded it but it'll say download and just click on that and then you, it'll look like this when it's done downloading. Alright after you hit open the GPX file with the element app you'll be in the app and you'll see your route in the app you'll hit select on that and it will prompt you to sync it up with your Wahoo. And as soon as your Wahoo is turned on, it'll like automatically sync up. You just have to hit select on the route and then go to where your route starts and hit start on the Wahoo. And it should know that you just selected a route from your app. And basically it will guide you through the ride for the day. All right, so to recap, you go into Strava, go into dashboard, go into routes my, or my routes, and then you can either create your own route or pick the route you've made already. Mess around with it. it it's not too hard to figure out after a while. Um, then you're gonna save that route and go to your email, upload, attach a file to your email, and so you're gonna attach the file that you saved onto your computer, bring that up in the email, 
send it and then open it up in your phone then you're going to hit download download uh gpx or whatever it's going to it's going to be on there for you to it's going to be after it downloads it's going to be on that same page it's going to be downloaded click on that and it'll ask you what you want to open it with copy it to the phone save to files or you can open it you can just literally on my phone you can just literally hit um, open with element app so then you're going to go into the app on the phone take um you're going to go into r my routes choose a route and then actually click on your finger with the route like just hit on the map and it'll bring you to that and then you can turn on your wahoo element and it will sync up with that you can hit sync to wahoo i think and all this all the steps are right there on either the app um or on the app they're actually just on the app so it's, it's kind of self-explanatory but the main thing is creating the root on strava saving it to the computer and then sending it via email to your phone you know so just send it to your own email and put a subject in there and then it should be good to go and the last thing is don't don't get frustrated if you can't find the route on your Wahoo. Just go to where you're going to start your route, and the Wahoo will know what you're trying to do. You'll hit start on the Wahoo where, you're, where you wanted to start your route. Or it may even pop up as you're, like, if you start in a different location and you ride to your route, it may pop up as you're starting to ride through it. So don't be frustrated if, it does, if you can't see it, if you can't pull it up on your Wahoo. It's on the Element app. As long as you turned your Wahoo on and it's and it's synced up as you hit sync to Wahoo, you should be good to go.